Howdy farmers, today we're going to talk about cultivating. And what that basically means is trying to keep weeds out of your garden. We're going to show you a couple of different ways to do that. Uh, but before we do that, I want to talk about the tools of the trade. Uh, these are the four that I like. Uh, and I'm going to go over them in the order of preference, the way that I like them. What I want you to know is, is that I judge tools, I like them to be durable, I like them to be lightweight. I like to be able to use them in multiple ways. If I had to only choose one tool for the garden, I would choose the four prong rake. The reason is because it, it meets all of those standards and it can be used for digging, it can be used for chopping, it can be used for aeration and light moving, just disturbing the weeds. So this has a lot of uh, uses and it's a very efficient tool, easy to use over a, long, uh, over a long day without getting too tired. My second choice is something called the cotton hoe or the warren hoe. Uh, this tool uh, has the benefit of also being light. Uh, it's not a great tool for aeration uh, like you see with the, the rake, but it's a great tool for digging and mounding up the soil. It's easy to cut through the soil and and separate the weeds from their roots uh, or just pull them out, either one. So cotton hoe or worn hoe would be my second choice. Uh, if I could have two tools in the garden, that would be the, the, the two I would choose. Third one is kind of a luxury tool, but it does have uh, tremendous um, uh, advantages. Uh, it, it doesn't do anything for digging because it doesn't mound up anything. Uh, and it doesn't have a lot of uh, different directions that you can use it for. But what it does do is it's incredibly efficient in that it cuts both directions. So when I'm working through the soil, I'm able to cut. I have no wasted motion. I don't have to pick it up. Don't kill my pepper plant there. Um, and so this is a very fast, very easy tool to use. I'm going to show you how quick I can weed this 70 foot row uh, with any one of these tools. The last one is the old-fashioned garden hoe and this one's kind of old. It's seen a lot of miles. It's been sharpened a few times. Um, it's just heavier. It's, uh, its uses are more limited. It does have the ability to change angles and create different kinds of, of action in the soil. Uh, it's a great tool for digging. It's really a good tool for chopping um, if you need to chop. But what we're going to show you today is how to avoid that whole notion of chopping uh, because we're going to answer the question, how big is a big weed?